Okay, so, um, hey, I, um, I wanted to do another video real quick. Um, I'm laying in bed watching Survivor season 41, and it has been amazing. I'm so glad I'm watching this. Um, so, uh, just a little update, um, I made a video, anyway, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just making CBD, I'm vaping on my CBD oil, and I've been really puffing on it, so, oh. but, okay, Survivor, to me, has shown me a lot of, like, the Twin Flame journey. Um, with a bunch of twists and turns and you think that something's going to happen and it totally is not. Um, and that's the thing is I just, I, I, I get on my mountaintops and then I get on my valleys and, um, it's a roller coaster. Just me in general is a roller coaster, let alone the twin flame journey. Um, <laughs> but what I, what I wanted to say about the twin flame journey is unconditional love. It is unconditional love. It is not manipulation. It is not codependency. Okay. It can only be unconditional love. It can only be unconditional love. It can only be unconditional love divine love okay so it's not going to be like any relationship you have ever known okay I that's huge that's huge you can not it is not predictable it is not um, in the form of of any other relationship you cannot look at it as a boyfriend you cannot look at is it as a marriage per person you cannot look at past relationships and say it should look like that that's it's not your twin flame okay I can't stand whenever I'm sitting like this you can see all these mm. I always wondered you know in TikToks, how the befores, you know, what they do, and they have these double chins and triple chins, and then they do all this contouring and makeup, and then they lose their double chin. So, whatever. Um, but uh, anyway, and I'm laying in bed watching Survivor right here, so um, I look terrible. <laughs> I look terrible. I thought taking my hair out of my band would be better. Um, and then I have no light. My light is over there. So, um, I have a little tiny light and it's terrible. I look, it's shadowy and everything. But, my Twin Flame, my videos are not about how I look. They're not about my hair, my face, my body fat, whatever the fuck. The lighting, my wording. It is about the Twin Flame journey. Okay? And then I also have, uh, so I have my CBD vape, and I have my, it's called Cloudy, it's a, um, it's a nighttime, um, melatonin and, uh, chamomile and lavender. But, so, your twin flame, like, I, anyway, I talk to other twin flames sometimes, that my paths will cross with another twin flame um from time to time and this past weekend it did several times um with twin flame females twice um where i had time to talk in a little in depth and they were both talking about separation and they were both talked about tarot cards <sighs> There is no separation in your twin flame journey. I, I, I mean, 
you you don't have to follow me. You can follow the social media and the tarot cards and the readers for the all that for your you know, you can continue doing what you're doing. Um but I don't think that way. I don't because in spirit in 5D in your spiritual connection there is only oneness. There is only union. There is not separation. So, also, you and Source can never be separated either. There is this whole, all of, all of our issues and wounds are from abandonment as children. Fear of abandonment and because of abandonment and rejection or whatever it is. And separation. And that is an illusion. We are never separate and separated from source, from our God, from our higher power, from our creator. Source, we never are separated. It is only an illusion that we ever have been or ever will be. But it is not the truth. We in the truth the truth is everywhere I go, my source goes. So, and this is a principle. This is a spiritual principle. This is a spiritual truth, a spiritual law that we are not separate. Um, but this illusion of abandonment, this illusion of separation causes fear. Um, and it causes anxiety. It causes depression. It causes um, panic. It causes loneliness it causes um us doing things on our own to try to get feeling good back feeling loved back feeling special um and then it causes us to try to prove our value and try to prove our self-worth and and we protect ourselves and we defend ourselves and we struggle and we strive and Source has got us. So we are source. We are gods. We are divine. There isn't, I'm divine. I'm a diva. We all are divas. We all are one with each other and with source. That is the truth in spirit. Okay. So, our twin flame, whether... He or she is acting right, whether he or she is loving us or giving us the love that we, we desire, they are us. They are connected to us forever. I mean, it's, I, I don't, it just twin flame. They love us like we love them. It has to be that way. There is no other way. It, do you understand? Like, if you think, uh, which I do, uh, I, my twin flame does a lot of things that make me think that he's rejecting me, that make me insecure, that make me feel not good enough, that makes me feel hopeless, that shows, you know, oh my God, of course. But that's what it's designed to do. It's going to bring out all of my insecurities. It's going to bring out all my obsessions and my codependent ways. And, you know, my, like I said, my insecurities. It's going to bring out all of that. Um, it's going to trigger it so that I can see it. That I can destroy it and get rid of it. Because, and why would I do that? Why would I get rid of my codependent ways? Why would I get rid of um, my ego? Why would I get rid of, you know, insecurities and, and all that? Because it's keeping me in darkness. It's keeping me in the separation mode. So, if you're looking at your twin and you're saying he's or she is uh, the runner and we're in separation because I have to wait until they act right or they heal or they that's not the truth the truth is there is no separation and the truth is 
as long as we are trying to strive and prove our value and manipulate and judge and do you, you know what I'm saying then we're never it's we're never going to get there we're never going to as long do you understand what I'm saying like it is not our focus should not be on another person what they are doing right or wrong or or because we are powerless when we focus on somebody else and our source would never do that to us would never make the answer to our dilemma or our problem to be something that we cannot control we are the problem and we are the solution the solution is always within us everything we need is always in our power to have it is never in another person everything so when you are confident and secure that you and your twin flame are together and in union and cannot be separated and he, he or she loves you with the divine unconditional love and that you are able to let go and trust the process and you are able to think of them and and interact with them with complete unconditional love and freedom with no expectations and no judgments and no manipulation and no force then it can be natural it can naturally unfold and it can be divine and the bliss and the joy and the incredibleness that it was created to be and it can be the most amazing tool for manifesting your desires and for healing you and you cannot manifest all that you're created to have and to want and to desire and your purpose if you are wounded because you are the magnet and if the magnet is cracked or broken or fucked up in some way that's what you're manifesting so the vessel or the magnet has to be whole has to be healed has to be complete so that you can manifest with ease and in a flow and and the best okay because you're the magnet you're the object not your twin flame so get your eyes off of your twin flame what he or she is doing and stop being critical stop being judgmental and just let go it is not about your ego ego will not get you in the twin flame journey mm -mm. you have to it has to go it keeps you in in fear it keeps you in manipulation it keeps you in um, ways that cannot exist in your twin flame journey so as long as you're holding on to doing it your way and exalting yourself and and criticism and judgment and you know what about me I need my twin flame to love me and to do this and to do that and to no you love yourself you celebrate yourself you adore yourself you um, affirm yourself and be everything the love that you seek you be it for yourself and you send your twin flame trust choose it you send your twin flame trust they feel that you be safe for your twin flame be safe stop assuming the worst stop it it does not serve you let it go um there you go okay send trust send love send appreciation send faith and how do you do that by you thinking the best of them by believing in them by supporting them 
and then by loving yourself and focusing on yourself and send them good vibes and good energy. Now, it won't you won't be able to consistently because you're going to be triggered and it's going to bring up all the junk that's in there. That's deep in here. So there's times you're going to be angry. There's times you're going to be disappointed. There's times you're going to feel rejected and you're going to feel insecure and you're going to feel abandoned and you're going to it's going to trigger all of that woundedness and darkness so that you can look at it and say, "Ah, this is not who I want to be." This is the old me. This is the wounded me. This is the lesser version of me. I'm going to invite love and the universe to fill me up. And I am going to choose to love myself and to believe in myself and to celebrate myself and to be the love that I seek and to make my life whole and complete and fulfilling. I'm going to be my own person. I do not need another person to complete me, to fulfill me, to love me. I am enough. Okay? That's what you need to do on your twin flame journey. And then let go. Let go of control. Be you. Love you. Celebrate you. Let your twin flame do his thing or her thing. Let them, let it naturally. So let go of expectations. Let go of your anger. Let go of your control. Let go of manipulation. Let go of your criticism, of your judgment. Let it all go. It does not serve you. It does not benefit you. It is going to continue to bring you down into low vibe, into woundedness. So, yeah. I think I've said it enough. I think it's pretty clear what I've tried to say. <laughs> I'm going to get back to my Survivor show and continue to vape. Um, I'm sure I'm going to do more about this. This is kind of like a part one um, because there's so much more that I've been seeing when I watch Survivor season 41. And um, I just watched this movie um, a couple days ago called Happiest Season. Ugh really has some good stuff in that about your twin flame journey it's about being safe safe for yourself it's about focusing on letting up jealousy and hurt and we are all in transformation letting all the junk the dark energies come up and out because you don't want them in your life um and letting yourself be healed letting you letting healing come thought that was a spider so anyway um ego cannot stay mm -mm, no it's gonna bring you down it's gonna it's gonna hold you down so anyway i think that's done that's it um i always tend to feel insecure dumb ugly stupid unattractive idiotic like a loser in my videos i but i also noticed that I do that at Christmas time too. I always feel like my gifts are never enough or not good enough. And I'm starting to let go of that um, mindset about myself. I am perfect and I, and I speak the best I know what to, how to speak and the best words and that is enough. It is going to reach people that it's supposed to reach. It is going to benefit the people that it is supposed to benefit. Okay. And, um, before I can help anyone, I help myself. So I try to focus on, instead of saying, what do they need? What do I need? What am I seeing? And how do I speak, be true to myself and speak my truth? So my intention of these videos are to just, because I feel led to do them. And I hope that it benefits someone because I know what I'm talking about. I know that I know that I know that it is about you and your relationship with yourself and your relationship with life, your relationship with higher power. It stop focusing so much on your twin flame and what he or she is doing all the time and how they're not up to your standards or they're not, they don't treat you the way that you want to be treated. Leave that alone. They are treating you exactly the way they're supposed to treat you right now in order to bring up whatever needs to be brought up in you. So focus on how you feel. Focus on giving yourself time and space to process and to heal. Okay? 
So, and, and then, you know, celebrate the times that you have with your twin flame. Don't judge them. Just enjoy them. Just savor them. Just, okay? Just, just let it, let it be. Believe that it is unfolding perfectly. And you are exactly where you're supposed to be. And send that, that twin flame trust trust them it might not look like it might look bad but give them the benefit of the doubt they deserve it they're good they're perfect this union this relationship is so pure and it's so innocent there's nothing else like it and it's going to benefit you and your children and your community and and the planet like nothing else so be patient, be kind, be gentle, be safe. And I'll explain what being safe for your twin flame means. Being safe for yourself, what that means. Okay? So, mwah, love ya. I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. I know I'm being true to what I'm supposed to be doing. So, <laughs> that's all that matters. Peace, peace, peace. Out. I'm out. I'm out of here.